Hi friends, Lieutenant CP2 here. Today's video is going to be, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a bit of a sciencey one today. Hell yes, I'm going to talk a little bit about evolution. Um, this video has actually been inspired by two comments I heard on uh, a couple of other videos. Guess where these comments came from? First comment is, <coughs> if whales evolved from bats, surely there is an animal that is in the fossil record that is half whale, half bat. No, whales did not evolve from bats. Whales and bats are modern animals. They have a common ancestor. The second comment is, is it logical that whales evolved from bears? No, it is not. It is logical that they have a common ancestor, but bears and whales are modern creatures. So to that end, this video is going to be a little bit about the bat, the bear, and the whale. So, with my trusty flip chart, here we have a bat, a bear, And a whale. Now, as I said before, they all have a common ancestor. What I'm going to demonstrate here is evolution in very, very general terms. It's not going to be very specific. This is just to teach those people that have absolutely no understanding of how evolution works, generally how it works. So. Many, many, many years ago, there was a common ancestor, and it was prob probably some sort of proto-mammal, um, some sort of rodent-like creature. So, at the bottom here, we have a small rodent-like creature. Up the side, we have time. This is today, and down here is in the distant past. There is our common ancestor, there is the bat, there is the bear, and there is the whale. Now what has happened is there was a population of these uh, rodent-like creatures, and for some reason their population was geographically split. Uh, it could have been a number of things, it could have been um, an earthquake uh, opened up a ravine, half of the population is one side, half the population the other. There may have been some sort of flood and a river separated them, or it could have been mass migration. Any one of these things could have been any of those. But what you have there is two, sep two separate populations of the same creature. And then they continue to reproduce. Now as we know, uh, mutation uh, enters the reproduction, re mutation of the genome enters through the reproduction, and natural selection pressures uh, will determine effectively which mutations will survive depending on what gives that creature an advantage. And on one side of the geographical divide we have this lineage here and one side on the other side we have this lineage here. Now suppose for example that where this lineage lived um, the natural selection pressures uh, pretty much left the, the creature alone and o over time until you get to this point what you have here is not actually that much different from here because it's small rodent like and it remains small and rodent like because any mutations were selected out because it offered it no advantage however this population here when it reaches this point the natural selection pressure favors larger animals okay so larger animals uh, tend to survive and reproduce, so the, the actual species as a whole gets bigger. And then they continue, so this one could keep, say, it starts climbing trees, then it starts developing skin flaps under the arm so it can glide from tree to tree, until today we get the modern bat. And on this side, the animals get bigger and bigger and bigger, uh, maybe the animals then start learning to swim, and 
further mutation and natural selection develops into today's whale. Okay. Now, what about the bear? Well, I'm going to posit that uh, the bear evolved from a common ancestor of the whale and the bear uh, in this lineage uh, due to the growth of the of, of the animal. And there was a populate there was a species that existed here. Please note, species only really makes sense if you pick a point in time and pick that point on the lineage that's where you have a species which is fully formed at this point a species is always fully formed by the way and there is a, another geographical event which separates the same species and again we get descent with modification with natural selection and you get the bear so the whale and the bat if you look at today or at any point along this lineage because down here that's not a while that's going to be something else down here that's not going to be a bat that's going to be something else but the old, whole idea of a species which is halfway between bat and whale if you actually look at today's date there isn't one uh, because the whole idea of a species being ha halfway between something and something else is not correct. It's a nonsense. It's not how evolution works. The common ancestor is not halfway between a bat and a whale. Common ancestor between the bear and the whale. It's not halfway between a bear and a whale because that is not how evolution works. That is not how animals develop. Um, and from that you can still see that the, white, the bat, the bear and the whale all have this one common ancestor down here and it's all about the non-random survival of randomly occurring changes in its genetic makeup it's that simple keep it real <laughs>